All right, so there is a brand new PlayStation 4 exclusive celebration pack here on Fortnite Battle Royale. And of course, it's completely free. So if you go into the PlayStation Store on your PlayStation 4 and type in Fortnite Celebration or Fortnite Selly, that's all I had to type in, go down just a little bit and you can see right here the PlayStation Plus celebration pack. This is like, man, I don't know, we're on the sixth or seventh, maybe even more than that, rendition of this celebration pack. Now, you do have to own PlayStation Plus. You can play Fortnite without PlayStation Plus, but in order to claim this pack for free, you have to have PlayStation Plus. Now, most of you probably have it already because in order to play most online games, you absolutely have to have it. So chances are you have this already, but I'm just warning you, if you don't, you cannot claim this pack. So you can see on the left what you get there, but I'll be going over that all in detail in just a second. In order to download it, you just click this button right here that says download and it should glitch out and give us a message like it always does, but let's just see. So I click it and it's loading up here and it says not available for purchase. That's exactly what it's always done in the past. Don't worry, if you go to tell me more, it's gonna tell you that you already have this pack. There you go, you are not able to purchase this product for the following reasons you already own. PlayStation Plus Celebration Pack 10. I guess we're on 10. I said seven or eight, we're actually on 10. That is absolutely crazy. So because we hit the download button, it actually really did download. So now all you have to do is restart your application. So right now I'm in Fortnite, as you can see. So I won't have it until I restart, which is what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so there you go, that actually worked. So here's the three items you get, the Stratosphere Glider. I'll have to check all three of these things out in game. It says, for those who were born to fly. Then we've got the down arrow going down. That's pretty neat, I guess. And then last but not least, the introducing emote. Make yourself known. Wow, that is a unique emote, I guess. Weird. All right, so let's check these out in game real quick. So first let's get ourselves into a PlayStation outfit. I was gonna use the blue team leader but she really doesn't have much blue on her other than the beanie. So I'm gonna go with Mr. Frozone, the blue striker. There you go, so now we have our full PlayStation Plus combo going. Let's check it out in game, but first, let me show you the brand new emote introducing. I know I played it a little bit, but let me play it in full here. I won't talk so you can hear the entire thing. Here we go, Frozone presents introducing. So there you go, it's got this techno feel to it. And the dance is a bit extreme, it gets a bit funky there. It's not bad. The background beat, like I said, very techno-y, but it's pretty catchy, I like it. Obviously it's gonna be pretty rare since only PlayStation Plus people can have this. So I guess you could make your PC, Xbox, and Switch friends jealous if you wanted, and mobile too. So let's go into a match, we're gonna check out the down arrow and the stratosphere, see if they do anything fun or unique. Do our dance in front of someone that's actually awake. Oh, this guy's a real person. Oh, he knocked me in the water. And he blocked me off. I can't do my dance. No. Wow. What a turd Ferguson. All right, so I'm just going to launch right now so we can check everything out. So here's the... Okay, the contrail. There it is. I was going to say, contrail's not even working. So that's pretty cool. You can see the down blue arrow. Definitely a light blue effect to it. Makes your hands turn completely blue as well. I like that. So if you weren't aware, there's another PlayStation Plus exclusive contrail called Artifact. And I run it every single loadout. It's one of my favorite contrails in the game. And it's definitely better than this one, but this one's not bad either. So let's check out Stratosphere. Here we go. Ooh, it's got a little jet beam there. You can hear it, that's nice. So there's no real contrail to it. I mean, I guess you can see a little bit of white on the two wings. Other than that, it's got that blue rocket on the back. It deploys pretty nicely. I'll have to deploy it again in just a second. Not bad though, definitely matches the skin. It's pretty sweet. 
So I know this wrap isn't part of this actual set, but it did come from a prior one. And I just don't like how it doesn't really match any of the skins. Look how light blue it is. It's almost like a watery effect or a frozen effect. But none of the PlayStation skins are this actual light blue. I wish it was like his arm. Look at his arm there, just completely dark blue. That's what I want. Just an entirely dark blue wrap like that. Listen very carefully, this is what it sounds like. And then when you move, the rockets start blaring. Here you go. Actually, I don't see the blue glow this time from the rockets. Let's try that again. There it is. So here's idling and then movement. You can almost hear like a blast off noise too. Listen very carefully. That's like an explosion, like poof. Pretty cool. So it's got a nice animation to it. Very, very nice deep blue. I love that color. Everything about the color on this glider is phenomenal. Yeah, that's nice. Here's an underneath angle. Pretty sweet from here as well. Let's see it redeploy up here. It's just an overall nice glider. I wouldn't be mad if this was even in the battle pass. That's how nice it is. Not entirely unique, but the color scheme is just flawless. I do like the little blue light that ignites when you're moving. The only thing that would make this better instead of that white contrail on the left and right wing, if that was like a dark blue or a light blue. I think that would be just a nice little touch, but instead they just left it white. I don't know, a little bit of realistic effect there because obviously the wind trails and things like that. Not bad though. It should match most of your PlayStation 4 exclusive skins if you have any. And then again, here's the down arrow contrail. Not bad there either. Not a bad set. Oh, look at this. We got a glider and a contrail glitch. I've never seen that before. Too bad that's not how it always is. That's awesome. So the one thing I haven't showcased yet is the actual introducing emote in-game. So I will do that. So the next kill I get, regardless of how I get it, I will do the introducing emote. Here's the stratosphere one more time. Pretty sweet. Let's see if we can grab this before someone else lands here. A pistol. Nice. A pistol and what? Something invisible. What is this? Oh, 250 pots. Alright, let's see if we can get that kill real quick. Oh, he's right up there. Look at this. What the? What the? Holy smokes, that dude got glitched out of his mind. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, let's do the emote on that guy. I feel so bad. That dude was slow motioning in midair, but there's the emote in game. So there you go. That's all there is to it. The new stratosphere, the down arrow contrail, and then the brand new introducing emote. Not a bad pack, especially since it's free, but maybe next time we'll actually get a skin and a pickaxe. I think we need a new PS4 exclusive pickaxe because I'm sick and tired of this one. Not a big fan of it. So the Stratosphere, I rank this 8 out of 10. The Down Arrow, a 6 out of 10. And the Introducing, a 7 out of 10. That's what I give them. Not too bad. Like I said for the Contrail though, let me show you the one that also came with the PS4 pack that I was telling you guys about. It is called Artifact right here. Tell me that's not the best contrail in the game. Every time I run this in a video, I get at least one comment. What contrail are you running? And it's always this. I mean, this one's not bad either. It is blue. It does match all the PS4 skins. But uh, what's the down arrow got to do with anything? I don't get it. Someone let me know in the comments. What does that have to do with PS4? Who knows? That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.